cumulative distribution function. The CDF is a function of x where x is any value that might appear in the distribution. To evaluate CDF of x for a particular value of x, we compute the fraction of values in the distribution less than or equal to x. Let's understand this with an example. If you remember the story I narrated in the previous video where I explained to you about mean, where I told you a story with arithmetic mean. Here we try to find the mean height of a class of 15 students, which we got 4.133. Now, in this CDF video, in this CDF tutorial, this 4.133 is going to be our value of x. That means we're going to find what proportion of these 15 students have their height less than or equals to 4.133 feet. Let's try to understand this. Again, here we have a class of 15 students for which our mean height is 4.133 and individual heights are given over there. We are going to take all the individual heights and put it over here. Now, first step is to arrange them in ascending order. Now, here if you see, I have arranged them in ascending order. Now, then let's calculate the fraction of each of the elements in this distribution of 15 students height so first element is this we will divide it with total number of elements which is 15 and the value which we get is 0 0.067 same thing we're gonna repeat for second element number of element is 1 divided with 15 and then again we will get the value same but this time because it's a cumulative distribution so we're gonna add the previous distribution over here and now the number which we get is 0 0.133 again we're going to repeat the same thing the number of element is 1 then we're going to divide it with 15 and then the value which we get is this then again we will add the fraction which we calculated till previous step which is nothing but 0 0.133 and that will be added over here and the value which we get is 200 same thing we're going to repeat for second step as well. Here we're going to add 0 0.200 and 0 0.067. The value which we get is 0 0.267. Okay. Same thing we're going to repeat for all the populations. All right. And this is how we get the fraction of each of the element in the given distribution. Now we need to look for our value which is x and that is 4.133. So where is that in this distribution of 15 heights? So if you see 4 starts from here and the last 4 is over here. But CDF says all the elements which are less than or equals to 4. So these all are equals to 4. So we will choose the last one. So the last one comes over here. And for that the CDF is 0 0.600. That means 60%. So we can say that in class of 15 students, 60% of the students have their height less than or equals to 4.133 feet. If it looks very complicated, let me simplify it. Another way is take the height of all students, put them here, arrange them in a standing order and find your x value which is 4, right? Which is less than or equals to the given x value which is 4.133 and now count the elements which are less than or equals to this and put them at the top of this line. Those elements are 9. Now count the total number of elements in the given distribution, those are 15 and divide it and the value which you get is 0 0.6. Bravo, the same value we just got. Now, this is the typical formula to calculate the CDF. I just hope that you understood it. Now, this is lot of explanation. Now let's understand the CDF with the help of and story or let's talk about a story if you remember in the previous video here you provided a fantastic analysis using mean and your boss was very happy now he says that i understand that mumbai is the city where we need to provide the rewards to boost the transaction now now the problem is we had this huge data for mumbai can you show me some sort of distribution and then you says 
hold on i can tell you and then again as usual you jump to the python here in python you import all the necessary libraries and here we import the credit card transaction data of bank of learn area and in this line if you see we are just filtering the data for mumbai here we are just taking a sample of this filtered data which looks like this now as a primary analysis i am just going to check the minimum transaction amount in mumbai maximum transaction amount median transaction amount and the total number of transactions done in mumbai so this is what the analysis which i get minimum is 3221 then median is 4966 and so on now to calculate the cdf what i have done is i have created i have defined a function which you can just see over here i would encourage you to try to understand this it is nothing here i am just supplying the sample of transit uh, i mean the total transactions done in mumbai city and here i will be putting each of the number for which i want to check the proportion the value of x and here i am just taking the count of all the values which are less than or equals to given x value right you can just go through it if you have any doubt put that into the comment section i will explain that now here i will use that function and i will try to check how many transactions what proportion of transactions are less than equals to 3500 so here we get 14% of the transactions are less than equals to 3500 then same we going to check for 4500 37% of the transactions are less than 4500 then for 5500 and then for 6500 we can check this is how we are getting okay this is how you can put any number and you can check what proportion of the transactions are less than or equals to this why i am taking these numbers because if this is in accordance to this uh, analysis which i just did right <clears throat> now like i showed you in the previous video as well that this is how not you can show to your boss so for that you just going to create a plot here in this case of cdf we can plot you can use ecdf plot right ecdf plot and in that you going to just supply data equals to cpd mumbai right cpd of mumbai and just hit enter and here you have your plot created now let's present this to your boss well now here you are back to your boss and here you can show that boss the number of transactions i mean the proportion of the transactions less than equals to 4500 is 37% less than equals to 5500 is 62% and less than equals to 6500 is 81% again your boss is happy and bang on Again we will see the next thing in the next video until then have a learning